everyone, welcome back to another episode of Seals for Good. Today, I'm going to touch on why waterproofing applications fail. Well, there are a number of reasons, and there's professionals out there that actually investigate and work out why this is, and even companies like ourselves, which are always out there to develop systems, we're intrigued to understand why. So we've got decades now of research and facts to ensure that we keep improving systems and make life easier, but they fail for a couple of reasons. And what I want to touch on today is a lot of the time it is blamed on the product. Now, sometimes it is the product, but more importantly, it's actually not the product that's failed, but it may be the selection of the product or not understanding it. Now you remember a few weeks ago, I had that episode where I showed that bitumen sheet on a water-based membrane. Now that bitumen sheet, very good quality product for the applications it's required for and specified for. But when you use it in the wrong application, it doesn't work. You know, I can drive my car along a highway and get it to take me where I want to go with great efficiency. But if I go and try and use my sedan to cross a river, it's not designed like that like a four wheel drive can do. And so that's the limitation. I need to understand what membranes are required for what applications. So if we select the wrong membrane for the wrong application, then yeah, we'll go, well, that membrane failed, but it failed because it's been used where it's not suited. Now, it's a completely different story if we're using waterproof products that actually don't comply, don't meet the standards, don't, can't back up the data and make false claims. We've gone through that. There's a few of the dodgy ones out there, but today I'm talking about you as contractors ensuring that you understand the product because sometimes if this could be the product you've used is not suitable for the application and that information is in the TDS. And the TDS will refer to all the requirements you need, surface preparation, the priming, how you detail, bond breakers, etc., etc., how you actually let it dry, condition before it can be in service, and also check the warranty details on the waterproofing application and that membrane that is you have selected. Because normally the warranty will specify the conditions that product is warranted for. So if I'm using a membrane that's designed for underwater applications like a swimming pool or a water tank, that's great. The manufacturer may give me that warranty to state that. But if I go and use that membrane, which we have seen some cementitious systems being used for a rooftop, is that warranty on the rooftop the same as what applies for underwater where it's actually been warranted for? And it's likely that it's not. Gripset GAP has been developed to improve the standards of waterproofing. GAP offers a number of advantages, one being an all-inclusive guarantee for product and workmanship. Inquire at gap at gripset.com or call us on 1800 650 435. So these are the things where people come unstuck. We think we've got a great product that can be used for a specific application and then we use it for something that's completely wrong and we go, the product hasn't worked, the primer hasn't worked, then the manufacturer goes out there or the supplier goes out there and says, well, you shouldn't have done this and you shouldn't have done that. And if we just checked the details out before we started, we'd eliminate all that wasted energy on trying to fix things instead of getting it right from the start. Big conversation this one and one that we love to get engaged with. So throw them our way, throw me a direct message if you like or we'll ask any of our team out there. We're here for you, side by side, remember. Until next time on Seal for Good, I'll speak to you then.